Um, I would like to address council this evening regarding the city's next steps and priority actions as they relate to the policing transition that uh, is occurring in our city. I want to be very clear that I continue to believe that this NDP imposed transition is not in the best interest of the residents or the taxpayers of the city of Surrey. The provincial report recognized that, uh, that the RCMP have provided safe and effective policing for the city of Surrey, and the Solicitor General has stated that the city has safe and effective policing with the RCMP. He is taking this action, as he said, in the interest of the province. And while I'm disappointed by the outcome of the judicial review, uh, I accept the decision and we are moving forward with what the city needs to do to ensure that our residents are prioritized, prioritized with the provincially legislated police transition. However, it is important to note that the findings from the judicial review did reveal some validating and concerning information that requires a further and comprehensive review. The first is the province of British Columbia's Deloitte report done in April of 2023 um, as listed in Justice Liu's reasonings, um, bracket 71 if you uh, want to look at the uh, decision. On December 15th, 2022, the city delivered to the minister, this is a direct quote from, um, from Justice, on December 20, or sorry, on December 15, 2022, the city delivered to the minister a report entitled Policing Surrey, a plan to retain the RCMP as the police of jurisdiction in Surrey. According to the report, the annual cost of the transitioning to the SPS would be 31.9 million, greater than the annual cost of maintaining the RCMP. That is not including transition costs. By contrast, the respondents, the province, received a report on April the 22nd, on April 20th, 2023, so just last year, commissioned by Deloitte Legal Canada LLP that showed the annual cost difference be 75 million using higher staffing needs that were estimated by the Surrey Police Service. It is important to note that the province did not share this report at the time, and it was only because of the judicial review that came to light. Justice then goes on to say in, bra in um, section bracket 72, regardless of the f exact figures, it is clear that it will be more expensive for the city to transition to the SPS compared to maintaining the RCMP, both by way of the transition costs and the incremental annual costs. This information was provided by SPS Chief Norm Lipinski in a letter, um, in a letter in 2023 to the province that stated, Surrey requires at least 900 police officers for operations and 58 additional officers for integrated teams. The costing analysis was not disclosed to the city in 2023. Again, rather this information was only obtained by the city as part of the recent lit litigation. These cost differentials are significant and they must be addressed. Irrespective of the province's legislation about policing in Surrey and their imposed target date for the SPS to take command of policing in the city by November 29, 2024, there still remains no confirmed plan to get there and no confirmed costing that the city can reasonably rely on for budgeting and fiscal management purposes. The city will therefore be taking the following actions. First, I am asking our city manager 
to assemble a team of experts to work with the province, the federal government, Surrey Police Service and its board, and the RCMP on planning requirements. This work will focus on understanding the progress to date and to ensure that the requirements and best interest of the city are at the table to ensure the policing model and cost implications addresses Surrey's needs. Second, it is clear from the De Deloitte report that the city's initial cost estimate of 30 million more than the RCMP is a low estimate. The city needs to reassess its initial costing now given the province's Deloitte report. So we will be immediately undertaking a review of the Deloitte report and ask the province to cooperate with us to finally determine the actual costs of the imposition of this transition. Only then can we make a pro an appropriate determination of the province's requirements. And while I understand the opposition councillors do not believe that the province should contribute to the exorbitant and generational costs for our residents, our council majority believes the province must take the responsibility for the Solicitor General's decision. Surrey taxpayers and future infrastructure must be protected from the Minister's decision. Moving forward, it is critical that the process be transparent and accountable to the public and to the city. During the entire six-year process, the previous mayor, the Surrey Police Board, and the province has withheld information by way of private meetings, non-disclosure agreements, and without prejudice negotiations. These backroom arrangements must and will stop today. I am instructing city staff to arrange in to range in public the police transition update to occur prior to every regular scheduled public hearing commencing in September of this year. These public updates will include a public corporate report as well as time for council to ask questions about the process. And finally, I understand that residents are fatigued by all the political positioning that has ensued about this transition. I am fat, I'm fatigued too. And as you all know from the documents submitted as part of the judicial review, the Premier indicated he didn't care which model we went with. He just wanted the matter resolved. The province cannot simply make a decision about policing at the 10,000 feet level and then wash their hands of it. Their actions and their decisions have gotten us here today. No plans, no confirmed costs. So I want to be very clear. We are at the very infancy stages of this transition in terms of planning and confirming proper costing for taxpayers. These immediate actions will go a long way to finally get clarity on, the trans on what this transition means for the future of policing in Surrey. Um, I'm just going to add that this could have uh, been all avoided had it done a proper process from the very beginning and the previous administration of this, the previous council um, just terribly, terribly dropped the ball for the residents of our city. So time is of the essence as we head into the upcoming provincial election. Our council will work over the summer to ensure this process is expedited, and if I have to call meetings, I will. And I expect that the province, the Surrey Police Service, and their executive and the Surrey Police Board will do likewise.